Okay. Okay, so I had an idea about showing what I do for dinner, something easy and something really quick that everybody can do it and it's, it can uh, and Okay, I'm not that actually active right now after last night that we changed the schedule, but still. So I was, I was saying, let's make a really quick recipe to make, which consists of corn, grilled chicken, and potatoes. The one that I get, the mashed potato that I get is the Idahoan brand, which them are made in a few minutes and this is what I call a single guy a single guy dinner or a dinner for somebody for a parent that is in a hurry so the first thing that we're going to start making is the chicken one of the things that I like to use is to spray oil around the saucepan that I'm going to use and the one that I do enjoy is the Publix one which we're going to let it heat up a little bit okay well the oil heats up let's start doing the mashed potatoes the first thing that we're going to need is uh, two cups of boiling water so while this thing is heating up we're going to fill this cup twice and We're going to let it boil, to let it boil. For a few moments. Front. Let me move this. Always be careful about not causing a fire. Okay, here we go. And the third and last thing that we're going to make is the corn, the one that I do enjoy, which is extremely quick to make. It make is the bird's eye one. I already opened this one. One cool thing about this microwave, microwavable corn, and some of the other products is that you can open the bag and divide the portion that you're going to eat. But you have to cook it a little bit longer because it's not going to be inside the bag and it's not going to get the steam. But in my opinion, it's been safe and I've been doing this for quite a while. And it's a cheap way to get corn also. So let's start with the corn while we continue over here, but we're going to keep the corn laying there for a little bit. So I'm going to take one of my plate of my dishes, let me get a little bit closer. We're going to fill it down to fill the bowl, the one that I have until the half. And then we're going to add uh, one teaspoon of butter, but we're going to do that in a moment. Let's leave this over here and let's place this back on the fridge. Okay, as I said for the kitchen, let's for the for the chicken, let's boil this one first. Let's heat this up first, and then let's add a few slices of the chicken inside. One of inside the saucepan you know that they let's put this down a little bit you know that the oil is hot because you will see the meat of the chicken bubbly a little bit I'm going to add a few slices this is what I love about this chicken it's easy quick and it doesn't take that much time to make either yeah I'm a very hungry person right now So in the meantime, do not let this thing spoil because it's quite hot over here and my air conditioner, well I'm in between, my air conditioner is, is on, it's hot outside and right now I'm in between, I'm hot and cold but also I don't know what to do, I can't make up my mind if I want to turn the air on or if I want just to cool to stay like this and sweat a little bit, but I'd rather sweat than to be cold at the moment. So, 
Let me show you also a really quick way to improve a marinade, but if you want to marinate a chicken, I recommend buying one from the market, from the meat department, and prefer the marinade later, earlier than the moment that you're going to cook it, and let, it, and let the marinade rest for a little bit. So let me show you a quick way that you can add flavor to the chicken, but it's like a marinade, but we're only going to use it to add flavor. The first one, element that we're going to use is the garlic powder. The one that I enjoy is the McCormick from the McCormick collection, the organic one. Let's spread around. I do enjoy garlic and I tend, when I'm cooking for myself, I tend to add a generous amount of garlic to my chicken and to my meat. Actually only chicken. I do, know, I do not eat any other meats. Red meats, I don't like it, I don't like them and I don't like fish either. So let's put this over here. The second thing that we're going to use also from the McCormick one is the black peppercorn, which I'm going to place on the top. The third thing that we're going to use is the Kirkland. Well, I use the Kirkland right now, but I'm probably going to change. The Kirkland is the brand from Costco but I'm running out and I didn't renew my membership this year I'm just only going to add, to add a little bit a sprinkle, not much at the end because I don't want the chicken salty and I'm going to mix a little bit, I'm going to mix for a moment so while this thing heats a little bit Let's add the potato, like I said before. This is the brand that I do enjoy, the Idaho, Idahoan. It's not easy to pronounce this word when your first language is Spanish. But still, it's quite fun to say it. The one that I'm going to add is the four cheese mashed potatoes. And I'm going to add it later as my water is boiling in. Because my oven is quite nice as well, my stove and the water is boiling by this moment. I wish I can show it to you, but I hope you can see the smoke that is going out right now. So, let's add everything once. We don't need butter for this one or anything else. Just add the mix, just add the mix, stir and that's it. Okay. For this one, I am actually going to Okay, I thought that I had some over there, but I don't go into stir. I don't like too much this bowl because it tends to heat up so easily. Ooh, I made a mess. Let me lower down the flame. There we go. I'm going to start mixing. You know that the mashed potato, these ones, are done when you see that they're like, I tend to say they look like Play-Doh, like pasta wings. The, they look like the mashed potato that you see on your mom's table or a restaurant or at a buffet, buffet that you know is ready. It has to be made in less than a minute, so it's something that you have to be really attentive that you don't burn it or you don't, or you don't damage what you're doing. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of stirring things. Okay. Let me show you before I actually play this to cool down. Okay. This is how you know that the mashed potato is done. It looks like, cl I say clay, but it looks like mashed potato. It looks puffy, it looks like it's done. So, while this thing cools down a little bit, I am going to continue with the chicken. Actually, going to stir down. Okay. Going to see that it's ready. Okay. Let's take a look. It's ready. Okay. Oh my God! That's what that one is so nice. So you see that the chicken is taking a golden color right now. So the next step for me, because I do enjoy sometimes making chicken with mustard, 
Got to add our chicken with mayo, actually. Ooh. I'm actually, I mean, I need to buy more. I need to buy more mustard, but I'll do it later. So, let me spray around. Not much at this moment. Oh my god, that one smells so nice. Let me add some of the, ma of the mayo, of the halogen around. Okay. Also to make it a little bit bitter sweet, let's add a dash of honey, a little spray, and let's mix it up until you see that the chicken is completely golden. And know that the chicken is getting ready because of the smell that the condiments will throw from outside will throw outside the salsa pan and you will see also the chicken or the meat you're making to take a golden color in the case well that's the case over here because it's the one that we're making another good thing about this chicken that I love about this chicken is that it's pre-cooked it doesn't need too much time inside the sauce pan or too much time on the cooking on the cooking part. So while this thing finish, let's talk about this one about the corn. It's not that difficult to make corn in the microwave. One thing that I do enjoy is to use Actually, this time I'm using this one. I cannot believe that it's butter. I usually use the Land Olex butter sticks. So let's use, as I said before, one tablespoon. Okay. Let's tear apart. See that there's no paper, it's not fun when you find a piece of paper or the wrapping piece, the one that protects the butter in your dinner or that is mixed with the corn after you place it on the microwave. Okay. Because the microwave that I have over here is one of the old ones and also is one that is less 6 volt capa in capacity I'm going to place it over a minute so it will melt but if your microwave is but if your microwave is more powerful than that you only need to place the corn with the butter inside for a few moments, uh, about 20 seconds, 30 seconds, about that's it, depending on the voltage that the microwave use or consumes. And you will know it in a really easy way because you will see, you will smell the butter, you will smell the corn and at the end just stir down and add some salt or whatever you like inside. So chicken is ready, you don't see any pink pieces or white pieces depending on also the meat that you're making in this one you see that it's perfect that every side perfectly match so let's keep the chicken under the fire for a few moments I don't want to overburn it and that's it let's come back over here this is what I've been what I was saying the microwave that I have is not that powerful and you can see the butter it's still over here. So let me play this for about three more for about three more minutes. Until I see that it melts. So for the next step and actually the last one, let's take out the plate, the dish. I wish I had a really big kitchen because it's 
it's annoying sometimes to try to record something or try to cook and you don't have the space. So let's put the chicken down. The dish. Make it look beautiful. Let's place it on one of the sides. Like this one. I'm going to place it over here on one of the sides. As I said before, I don't have too much space, but it's okay with that part. Let me grab one of my gloves because I know my bowl tends to heat up in a really awful way. So I'm going to make a spoon like if I'm putting ice cream on a cone. Place it next. Next to it. Oops. Okay. I'm going to save the last pieces of my mashed potato for later. This is how you can look at to make it look nice. Just try to put one side of chicken. The one that is the main part of the dish, try to put the bigger side on right or left and when you take one of the half, just place it, the smaller portions of the sides, like the mashed potatoes or the corn on a quarter of the dish and the other one on the, on the other side and if you're saving with gr serving this with gravy, one of the things you can do is just to place the gravy outside or if you know that the person enjoys the gravy, you can place it on the top or next to the mashed potatoes, it doesn't matter really. Okay, it depends how the people like it or how you like it, but what I say are only a few advices. So let's stop this one. Okay, two minutes were more than enough. So this is the thing that I was saying, you need to know, you need to see that the butter is already melted and spread around. So. We're going to add salt and mix it around. Oh, another thing, I like to use sea salt. I'm not a huge fan of the kosher. It doesn't have too much flavor for me. Let's place around a few dashes. Da -da -da. And let's change this over here. Let's place this here. it on the side and it's already seasoned and this is it this is uh, what I call a single guy meal which it's corn mashed potatoes and chicken and it's made under 20 minutes and if you're looking it can be done also on the 20 minute of le or less if you make the mashed potatoes and the corn in the micro microwave and you use only the stove to make the chicken so that's it I appreciate you for watching me and I hope you have a nice day